All right, so in this video, I want to show you what a code review is and why it's so important, all right? So you can see a code pen over here, and this is the result of one of my students that just solved an algorithm, and he asked me for a code review. He asked me, hey, how can I improve this? Because I feel like I've done way too many things in there. And my student is a beginner, it's learning uh, now about algorithms, about uh, data structures and loops and all these things. And um, he, he asked me a legit question and I want to show you what you have to do. So basically we have an array, we have to add the odd numbers. Okay, we have to sum up all the odd numbers and we have to sum up all the even numbers and then we have to return an, an array. So here, for example, we have 180, which means 50 plus 60 plus 70. And then we have 105, which means 60 plus 45, okay? So it works, but it's not really the greatest code ever, okay? So I'm gonna try to improve it and I'm gonna walk you through some of the things that I'm doing over here. And this is pretty much what I do with all my students, right? Whenever they have a problem or whenever they finish some code, I have to fix it for them so they can learn faster. So the first thing that I wanna do over here is I see that he has a bunch of arrays so he's mapping over each item in the array and then if the index is divisible by two so it's an even number he's gonna push the number into this array otherwise he's gonna push it into this array so the first thing that i want to do is that i see here that he's using a at i he's not realizing that he can use num okay so i'm gonna put num in here and i'm gonna put num in here as well so now the result should be exactly the same yeah the output is exactly the same now he created two more arrays which are t1 total and t2 total and he's gonna push the reduced array in there now that's unnecessary so i'm gonna remove this then he wants to create a result array which is gonna put two arrays together which is again unnecessary so we don't need that what he needs here is he needs to return an array with t1 weight and t2 weight cool so let's see if the result is the same. Again, if you don't understand this, I'm not gonna explain what reduce does and all this stuff. I'm just gonna show you how a code review works, okay? My students are learning reduce and other array methods in the program. I'm not gonna make a tutorial about that. So we don't need result anymore. We don't need T2 total. We don't need this anymore. And then that's it, that's sorted. So that's the first part. That's how I reduced it and I've made it more clean. Now let's format this code quickly. Uh, let's see what can what else can we do over here now instead of creating these arrays in my opinion We can use reduce for this whole thing. So I want to have a dot reduce and I'm gonna have inside an accumulator and an element and I'm gonna reduce everything to an array because we need to return an array of two numbers Okay, so I also need an index to know if the current number is the current index of this element is divisible by two if it's even or odd. So I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna say, I'm gonna rename this to index. If i modulus two equals zero, then I'm gonna say accumulator at zero equals accumulator at zero plus L. So I'm gonna have here zero and zero. I'm gonna explain exactly in a, in a bit what I'm actually doing. So I have accumulator at one, accumulator at one as well. Right, so here, my accumulator is this array, okay? So I'm saying that add to the first item in the array, which is this one, add the element. So if I have 50, I'm gonna say zero plus 50. And then if it's the next one, I'm gonna have zero plus 60. Then the next time when it goes through, is gonna be 50, plus 60 so 110 and so on and so forth again i'm not going to explain reduce here but i'm just showing you what's possible so i'm going to say const results equals this results and then here i'm going to return the results oops return results let's see if it still works canary property one of undefined yeah so i forgot to do something i have to return the accumulator in reduce yeah, so it happens to the best of us, I guess. So now my function works again, right? So I don't need this. I don't need this. I definitely don't need this. And that's how I shortened this whole thing. Now I can go even deeper. Instead of having this if else statement, I know that i modulus two is gonna be either zero or one. So I can say const index equals 
i modulus 2 and then i'm gonna have accumulator at index is gonna be accumulator at index plus element so i got exactly the same result back so index is gonna be either 0 or 1 0 1 0 1 so that's how you shorten this uh, function and that's how you do a code review the last thing that i want to say here there should be a constant um, there is no need to have a like that that should be legal we need to put our semicolons spaces and now this whole thing looks extremely beautiful and look here's the deal how much better would you get if you'd have a code review okay so this happens through each stage obviously when i did it for him it was in much more detail but i just wanted to show you how much difference this second perspective can make in your coding career okay and i haven't invented this not not at all actually this is what i'm getting at work from my colleagues and this is what i do for my colleagues as well so this is standard practice and if you want to become a developer you have to work like a developer from the beginning if you work like a self-taught junior developer that has no clue how it works how the development world works then you're not gonna get that far okay and this is what you need to get good at code fast okay otherwise you're gonna spend years trying to figure this thing out while it gets harder and harder and harder every single month every single year there are more students that are coming in there are more bootcamp graduates there are more self-taught developers that are learning from udemy coming in into the software development industry right and you have to compete with them how can you compete with them when they're they're all pretty much sucking at this they have no clue what they're doing and you just need that extra edge that extra spice you know the salt and the pepper on the meat and the potatoes that you can bring in okay and if you have that it's gonna be way easier to get your first job you'll be way more comfortable to to do your work right it's gonna be way easier for you to integrate in a company because you already know how it works it's gonna be way easier for you to work remotely right because you'll know exactly what are the systems that developers are using to work remotely anyway because that's what i do with my students they are working remotely from their countries okay and uh yeah this is pretty much it you know it's pretty sick i like doing code reviews obviously this one was not that in-depth as i do it with them because i don't have time for that but i just want to give you this perspective and if you like it what you have to do is you have to click on the link somewhere in the description go to my website apply for a free consultation call and then we'll have a chat and I'll show you how to get really good at code really, really, really fast. And um, you'll absolutely love it. And if you don't love it, that's fine. You can unsubscribe from my channel. But yeah, that's it. Until next time, Christian.